Hello YouTubes. Can you buy an HEI distributor for a small block Chevy for under $100? Yes you can. Does it work? No idea. Let's find out. Way too cold to be doing this outside, so I'm going to try and start Bugsy and get him in the garage. Uh, I forgot to take the battery out, so the battery was a bit frozen. I've hooked up the truck. I'll start the truck, try and do a jump start. Hopefully we'll get him inside. I think I broke the truck. Okay, so rams don't like to be started when they're hooked up to another car. There's a little pointer for you. Right, let's continue. Let's try some of this magic go-go juice. Too cold for this, right? I'll see you in the garage. Right, let's see what we got in the box. This is a Brave X. I wonder if it's called a Brave X because you've got to be brave to try it. Anyway, it looks like billet aluminum. It's got this little advanced valve 
a diaphragm, whatever. I like how they've protected the, the gear at the end. It turns like it's supposed to, you know. It's got a little gasket here for the base of that. Let's have a look at what's inside here. Excellent. So it's a full kit. It's not just an empty shell. I've got our uh, rotary thing. Yeah, it looks complete. Inside looks nice. All seems like fairly good quality. So let's fit it then, eh? Let's start by removing all the spark plug wires and the other wire connectors under here. Probably a good idea to mark all these. I'm just going to take these off one by one, tape them in a line to this bar, same on the other side, tape them in order. Make life a lot easier to reinstall the new one. Right, let me do that. All the wires are disconnected there. Wires connect disconnected there. I've removed my vacuum line. So I've got my four clips here to remove and then we can see what lies beneath hopefully it will look exactly the same as what I'm about to put on Obviously it's blue, but that's because this cap used to be blue. It's been painted a couple of times. Probably didn't help with performance. Okay, next step then. I want to mark exactly where this is pointing so that when I install the new one, I shouldn't really have much timing to take care of. So let's mark this. And then I've got my 14 mil nut holding this down. And then the whole thing will come out. My little bracket is now removed. The whole thing will now lift up, but remember the bottom of this sits in oil, near the oil pump. So make sure you get a rag handy. Now, you notice that because it's on a coil at the bottom on the cog, when I put the new one in, I need to start with it round there. You see what I mean? So I'm going to be starting it with at that position and it should rotate round to point to that area there. Here we go, one out. Remove the old gasket. Probably need to clean it up a bit. Yeah, there's a bit of debris sitting there. Right, now, the next tricky thing is at the base of your distributor, you'll see a notch and that has to align with a pin that goes down into the oil pump. That can be a bit tricky. Chances are it's not going to line up straight away. I suppose I should put the gasket on here just to make sure in case I get it right first time. Not likely though. So I know I want to start with the, the rotor facing a bit there. 
but it's not going all the way down. It should be lining up to here, which means it's not connecting to the pin at the bottom. So I need to get in there with a screwdriver and try and align that pin at the bottom. Could take a minute or two. Still not there. I'll give you a shake when I've got it. Right, the base of my distributor there is now sitting flush. So I can get my bracket back on, tighten it up. Well, not, not completely tight, tight enough that I can still spin it. Get a cap on, get all the wires on. See if it works. Plug wires are on, all the wire connectors are connected, vac pipe is back on, flammable cloth removed. Let's open the garage door and give it a shot. Not quite right. Say to warm it up.
can take my time in life. But I think I'll wait for the warmer weather, to be honest. Well, maybe not the warmer weather, but maybe not the minus 20 degrees we've got at the moment. I'll give that a few more minutes, see how it revs. But I noticed there when I when I put it into reverse, the revs didn't drop as much as they did with the last distributor. Considering it's not really warmed up yet, that's a, that's a good sign. I don't think the mechanical advance was working on the old distributor. And I don't have snow tires, so I really don't want to take it out in the snow. I don't want to risk poor Bugsy. Pretty good though. Well, that seemed to work. Quite happy with that. Time will tell whether or not it actually drives properly. But definitely a big difference there with the putting it into gear thing. Sometimes it nearly stalled when I put it into gear because the, the revs dropped. And I think that's got something to do with the mechanical advance. So if you're interested in a budget distributor that kind of looks pretty good, actually, and seems to work, there's a link in the description to Amazon. 99 Canadian dollars, probably much less uh, US dollars, so it's worth a shot if you're in the market. Right, I will um, put Bugsy back where he was, take his battery out, give him a good charge, so that when the weather improves a little bit, we can go out for a wee spin and see how it performs. Thanks for watching everyone, take care, see you in the next one, bye bye.